Hi everyone, this is Fabi here and in today's video we are going to take a look at all of the essential items that I carry with me every day considering I'm a tech YouTuber and tech enthusiast. So this is going to be a pocket dump and a backpack dump meaning that I'm going to show you everything that I carry with me in my pocket, on my wrist and in my backpack. Now before we get started I just want to tell you guys that everything that's going to be featured in this video you can buy through a link in the description down below. Without further ado let's jump straight to talking about the things that I carry with me every day. The first things that I'm going to talk about are the things that I wear on my wrists and in my pockets because those are the things that actually get carried with me each and every day. I only carry the stuff in my backpack during the weekdays so during the weekends only the stuff that is on my wrists and in my pockets gets carried with me. So first things first you probably saw that I have two phones so I have my iPhone 11 Pro Max which is over here and then I also have a 6S. Now a lot of you might be wondering why do I need two phones and especially two iPhones and to be honest, I don't always need two phones. This is my main phone, obviously the iPhone 11 Pro Max, but I use the iPhone 6S to test out iOS betas as they come out. This has iOS 14 beta installed on it now. And I also use this to test out LTE networks because I'm really passionate about this sort of stuff. I even went to college to learn stuff like this. Next up is going to be my Series 4 aluminum Apple Watch. And in order of importance, I would say that this is absolutely the second most important thing in my life. And that is because I can pay with it. I get my notifications. I can track my activity and to be honest I'm really glad that I featured this early in the video because now I can put it on my wrist it really does feel like I'm empty-handed when I don't have it on my wrist so let's just do this right now another cool feature that I use on my Apple watch lately is the fact that it allows me to unlock my Mac when my Apple watch is on my wrist this means I don't have to unlock my Mac via touch ID and essentially the way I use my Mac being docked most of the time Touch ID is not even available because the lid of the laptop is closed so this feature is really awesome and it just shows you how the ecosystem works all around. The third thing on this list is going to be my car keys. So this is the car key for my 2012 Mercedes-Benz C220 CDI. I absolutely love my car. Even now, eight years later, it still drives really well. And if you're interested about this car, make sure to watch my videos on my channel because I have at least eight videos at this point covering this car because I really do enjoy driving it. Fourth thing on my list is going to be my wallet. But at this point, I would say that this is just kind of a fallback because I mostly pay with Apple Pay. So this only gets used when I have to pay cash, when I have to show someone my ID. Next up, I'm going to show you something that is really insanely small. So this is a 32 gigabyte flash drive and this has got both USB type A and USB type C. So for those of you that have USB type C only laptops, like my MacBook Pro, this is going to come in really handy. This allows me to share files with folks that only have USB type A on their laptops. And so this gets carried with me each and every day, even if I don't have my MacBook with me, because there's always the possibility that I need to store something. And this is awesome because it means that I can come home and just plug it straight into my MacBook Pro. The last thing that I carry with me each and every day on my wrist is going to be my leather bracelet. So this is actually from Massimo Duty and I don't sell this anymore because each and every season they change up the designs. If you're interested in buying a bracelet similar to this one, I'm going to link you to the section on the website where they sell stuff like this. Moving on to the second part of this video, we are going to talk about the things that I wear in my backpack most of the time. And the most important thing is obviously going to be my laptop. So this is my 2016 15 inch MacBook Pro. This is mostly spec'd out apart from the SSD, which I only have 512 gigabytes of. And I really do like using this laptop. It's still fast. It's still snappy. The battery life is still great. And the only thing that I would have to complain about this laptop is the keys. So this keyboard has those butterfly switches which cause a lot of problems and I do have some stuck keys from time to time. This doesn't really affect me as I use my external keyboard most of the time as I use this laptop connected to my external monitor but whenever I use it away from my desk it really does annoy me when some of those keys don't click. Now in order to keep my MacBook Pro protected when I'm on the move I use the sleeve which is I think from Inatech or something like this. But it's nice that it has these side pockets where you can put a mouse, an external battery or stuff like that. And it also has this nice compartment inside which is cushioned. So it means your laptop is going to stay inside tight and it's going to be protected against scratches and stuff like this. Something that I always carry with me when I have my MacBook Pro is my USB-C hub from Hutu. So this is basically a six in one USB-C hub. It's got USB-C power pass through, then it's got HDMI, 
three USB 3 ports, and then an SD card reader. So this covers most of my needs when I'm on the go. I don't need Ethernet, I don't need VGA. This basically has everything that I need. Now to satisfy my audio needs, I do have wireless on-ear headphones. These are from Audio Technica. These are the ATH AR3BT. I do love them. The battery lasts really long. Like if I were to listen to these all day long, I would probably still have some charge left. And I like the fact that I can plug in an auxiliary cable just to get that extra quality of sound. Now I'm not an audiophile by any means, but I do like the way that these sound. And the only caveat that I've had with these is the fact that after about two hours of listening, your ears start hurting a little bit. But this is something that I've found to be true with most on-ear headphones. Only the over-ear headphones start getting a little bit more comfortable. The last thing that I carry in my backpack is going to be this Trust external battery, but with the way the iPhone battery lasts nowadays, I don't even use this anymore most of the time, and so this is kind of a fallback. If I really need it, then it's there, but most of the time it's just at the bottom of my backpack and I don't use it. What I do like about this though is the fact that it's got two USB ports, meaning that I can charge two devices at once, and one of them is good for two amps, which is also pretty good. Last but not least, I'm also going to show you the backpack that I use. So this is a Swiss Gear backpack. Uh, I don't know the exact model of, but I'm going to put it in the description down below. I do like it, it's got a lot of compartments. It's also got extra cushion for my laptop and extra cushion on the back for my back, obviously. And so I really do like this. It was a little bit more expensive, but it's definitely worth the money. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're new around here, make sure to subscribe. Stay tuned for more awesome content. Like this video, share it with your friends, and um, yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks again for watching. I'll catch up with you in the next video. Peace out, guys. Peace.